Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Double Down Reviews. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. Today we're taking a look at Star Wars The Last Jedi Praetorian Guard figure by Hot Toys. It's a mouthful. He looks cool. Bam. There he is. <clears throat> uh, they did a good job on the figure and the armor plates, but before we get into the actual figure, let's talk about the box. You got your standard Hot Toys Star Wars black on black with the silver lining got the picture of both guards and they did that because the figure actually came with different heads like helmet sculpt things so you can have either one or you can have a guy's severed head on the ground if you have if you get the jedi training ray um typical standard hot toys cradle inside you got some accessory stuff some blades all that junk some extra hands um the figure itself is pretty simple, but it looks cool, and uh, the way that they did the armor, uh, it works really well, because all the armor kind of actually shifts with the figure as you uh, pose him. Like, I was worried about it restricting his arms and all that stuff, um, just because he's got the huge shoulder pads and the literally his entire arm is just plate armor. Um, but it, it works out really well. It doesn't restrict very much. You can move, bend. All that type of stuff. His arms going up. We just knocked some toys over. More toys that we got on the floor. A million toys. Um, he's got this. Oh yeah, you don't pull that out. You unscrew it. You big dumb goof. Like that. Blade unscrews. Yep. Just make it easier, so you don't have to worry about like shoving this whole stupid thing down his hand. Oh. Look at that thing. It's huge. It's taller than him on the base. Yeah. Um. That easy, easily cut somebody in half. They're pl all plastic? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, the figure looks really cool. Uh, I like the fact that under the actual armor, you can see that they put like a uh, red leather okay. yeah. onesie on underneath. A shirt underneath. There. And then he's got his little black leather pants. Uh, and they actually gave it like a soft goods on the back here, so it doesn't like really get all stretchy and like <laughs> so this guy also has for some reason this little black diaper thing um it's probably just to not have his tunic thing get all crunched in his butt cheeks <laughs> i don't know <clears throat> you be the judge you let me know but uh like i said figure did a really good job with movement and not restricting a whole lot on him um you have pretty much the ability to pose the figure however you want because of the shifting plates. And so his elbow joints and everything? Mm-hmm. And it looks really cool. Yeah. Uh, interchangeable hands just come on the pegs like standard hot toy figures. And like I said, he has the extra head sculpt if you wanted to switch it on or off. I think that's the one that gets the lightsaber through the face. By it. <laughs> which is pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, the, the articulation isn't hindered at all with him, which I kind of thought it might be when I was looking at him in the box, but it's it's all there and it looks awesome. Uh, plus, just the super cool design of these figures. I'm gonna rip this guy's head off. Just like that. Change it. Just break him. Just shatters into a million pieces like when he falls in that thing. But just like that, you got a new you got a new guard ready to go, ready to fight. Um, so then you can interchange their weapons too, right? Yep. So like he could be holding this <clears throat> weapon. I believe this guy actually had this weapon, like the guy that has that, that helmet. helmet, has the big long spear, and then the other one comes with this, which is the big whip thing. Like this when he when he turns it on, it like falls apart. The solid version, and this yep. is the unfurled version. Yeah. And they got. A big wire frame in this thing, so if you wanted to work on dynamic posing or anything like that, you can kind of bend it back, have it look like he's like about to hit somebody with it or slap them in the face, I don't know. Whatever the heck you want to do. Uh, you have any questions, anything about the figure that you wanted to comment on? Uh, I really like the, the plating. It's actually, it's really slick. It, it looks awesome. Uh, but yeah, that, like... Elbow articulation is sweet. The way that the plates all like fold together, yeah, like it that, ships and together. Um, I feel like this—they sh should have just done a two-pack. <laughs> I know they got me 
because the box art on the back has both of them and on the front has both of them and I was like sweet two figures for like 240 bucks or whatever it was and then I opened it up and it was just a separate head in there and I was like I got hosed because like if you want to pose both of these or like use this head you're gonna have to buy another one for the body but then he's just gonna come with another head and another set of weapons why not just throw the other body in there and charge some more money and then you get two of them I don't know I would have been ha I would have been happy if it was you know 275 for two figures. I mean, they don't have head sculpts. There's, yeah. It's not like they're ready to get like, likeness All one or color. like that. But, Tot Toys are starting to get expensive and starting to milk us. Hey, but it's alright. It's alright. It's not alright! <laughs> hey, you got some good articulation. We're having a leather undersuit and a. Perfectly balanced. All sorts of armor. Yeah, I mean, I thought the yeah. the only thing I guess I would have changed on him would have maybe been a uh, wireframe in the bottom of this. Just so if you wanted to have him, like, way down low, you could have it, like, furled open. I wasn't sold on these figures at first when they showed off some of the pictures, but after I uh, went to the local comic collectible shop, um, I got to take him out and look at him a little bit and rotate him around, see his movement and mobility and all that, and... The, the design on these guys is just really cool looking. The armor, how they look. I mean, they even have like torso cuts in here, so it doesn't... That's super cool. On the armor piece? Yeah. Yeah, so you can have them like down low, ready to go, ready to try to kill Kylo. Down low, ready to go, try to... Just like, most Star Wars figures have the one boot. Um, like, I think the Han Solo, the... No, Luke has the ankle cuts. Um, but a lot of them have like one solid boot. But this guy has the full blown ankle cuts and it cuts right here on the knee also so you can get him into those cool action poses that you might want to get him into. Um, I might possibly pick up another one of these guys because it would be really cool to have both of them by Kylo. Looks how it all, ro I mean even the armor rotates on him too. Yeah, so it's they did an of, awesome job on that. Kind of strange, I don't know how they would have attached this to him without like falling down and sliding apart. Let's see how big this blade is. This blade is 16 inches tall. Is it? <laughs> that is neat. How tall is that guy standing? He's a little short guy. He's 11 and a half inches. Eh, 11 and three quarters. That's crazy. But yeah, cool looking figure. Uh, if you're a fan of the, the Last Jedi or Kylo Ren, anything like that, um, it could make for a really cool diorama piece for sure. Having you know, just both of these two guys kind of sweet looking guards for the new supreme leader, I suppose. Um, we'll get some close-up shots of the accessories and all this junk. So his, his accessories were, he had six hands total. Yep. Six two hands. Two versions of this weapon, one open and one closed. Yeah. And then the giant blade and the alternate head. Yep. And, and I, I mean, I don't think they were that expensive. I think it was. I think they're. Like I thought they were like two hundred nine or something. Yeah, like. two hundred nine, something like that. So it's definitely not a crazy price mark if you're considering like other hot toys. But like you said, if they would have done a two pack for a review score for price and everything. Uh, I mean, for two hundred nine, which I'm, I think was his price point. Uh, I don't really have anything to complain about. I mean. It, yeah, it's a simple figure. It doesn't have a head sculpt, but the guy's badass looking. His sweet looking weapons. Uh, as you can see, posability's all there. Um, if you if you like how they look, get the figure. I mean, you're not gonna be let down with it. Um, I think that's all I got to say about him. Really, he's sweet looking. He stands out in the case. I can tell you right now. Um, I have him posed next to Kylo, just like holding up his big staff, kind of looking to the side like he's got Kyle's back. Um, yeah. And even if you wanted to, you could do like a... Because uh, I know the Jedi training Ray, and then I think the Hot Toys Kylo, the last Jedi one with the Adam Driver head sculpt, I think that was just actually pushed back. But um, it'd be a cool... You could even do an awesome diorama for that if you did like one of these guys plus... 
Kylo and Ray like back to back. Have like one of them like coming towards and like some guy's head on the floor. I'm happy with it. I would give it a solid, solid eight. Okay. Eight out of ten. Um, yeah, just a cool figure, cool Star Wars thing. That's all I got. See you next time.